In this topic, we are going to talk about the key compon components of International Compensation Program. As I just told you in the previous topics that international compensation is not just a basic payment of money to people as in the domestic context. So uh, the, there are several different com, uh, components of international compensation programs. So let's take a look what they are. Uh, so first component of the international compensation package is the base salary. In the domestic, comp uh, domestic environment, the base salary, uh, it denotes the amount of cash compensation serving as a benchmark of other compensation elements such as bonuses and benefits. Uh, so it is something which is a cash component uh, which denotes uh, other elements which are um, bonuses and benefits, how they are going to be calculated. In the domestic component, that is it. That is the base salary is, uh, is what it, it, it is about. But in the international context, it is the primary component of a package of allowances, many of which are directly related to the base salary. Uh, for example, there could be a foreign inducement allowance or a, a hardship allowance or cost of living allowance as well as the basis for in-service benefits and pension contributions. So the base salary of an expatriate, it is a primary element of a bundle of allowances and benefits which are being paid to the uh, uh, to the uh, expatriates and some of them may be in the form of cash some of them may be in the form of facilities some of them may be in the form of pension and um, uh, for example healthcare benefits so it is only the primary element of these bundle of packages. It is not something which is the major component uh, of uh, the compensation package, only primary element of a bundle of packages. So that is what base salary is in the international context. The base salary may be paid in the home country or in the local country currency or in both. It is possible, okay, for example, if a multinational is operating in America and Pakistan and they, have, they are sending expatriates, international employees to work in Pakistan, they are paying them in dollars as well as in rupees. So it, it is possible that uh, either they pay them in dollars or in rupees or in both. So it is possible to uh, be paid in both. And therefore, base salary is the foundation block for international compensation, whether the compensation is of an employee who is a parent country national or a third country national. So international compensation jo hai, wo obviously parent country national ki hogi ya third country national ki hogi because wo international assignments pe ja rahe Host country national ki jo compensation hai, that would not be international, that would be something which is uh, a domestic uh, uh, issue. So host country nationals, jo, for example, subsidiary mein kaam kar hai, agar, for example, ek multinational hai, jo ke Pakistan mein operate kar hai, uski subsidiary Pakistan mein kaam kar hai, to yahan pe jo Pakistani employees hai, unke liye compensation packages jo hai, wo they are not going to be addressed by the international uh, scenario. They are going to be addressed in the local scenario, because locals hai, or local hi context ke andar employed hai. Lekin agar Pakistan mein uh, kahi America se, ya Britain se, ya Australia se, international assignee jo hai wo appoint kiye jate hain to unko aap international compensation ke context mein compensate karenge so compensation uh, or packages uh, they are designed for parent country nationals and secondly third country nationals jo ke dusre mulk se kisi teesre mulk se uh, uh, local host country ke andar aake kaam kare all right so the second component of uh, this um, uh, international compensation package is the foreign service inducement and hardship premium. Uh, so if they are, uh, if uh, parent country nationals, they are being sent to an international assignment, uh, which is less um, uh, attractive for them. And uh, going on a foreign assignment is something which is actually less attractive because you need to leave your uh, your comfort zone, you need to leave your home country 
so it is something which requires a more attractive package so uh, parent country nationals they are paid uh, foreign inducement allowance inducement ka matlab hai ki kisi ko uh, induce karna unko um, uh, uh, they are made to act in that particular way so inducement allowance is that that is an allowance which makes them take the uh, foreign assignment and uh, they can also be paid hardship allowance if the hardship is if the area is a hardship area and then the hardship allowance is to compensate for going into uh, to a hardship area for example uh, going and working in afghanistan is something which is considered to be a hardship area even for pakistani nationals so they are usually paid a premium to go and work in afghanistan so in this context the definition of hardship the amount of hardship and eligibility for the premium uh, should all be calculated according to the hardship situation uh, usually these payments are paid more to the parent country nationals to the rather than to the third country nationals then the third component of the pay, of the international package is allowances these allowances include uh, cola which is the word used for cost of living allowance cost of living is allowance is to balance the cost of living between two countries if uh, the cost of living is very very high as compared to the parent country then cost of living allowance is paid accordingly and that and for that a cost of living index is called is calculated internationally to decide uh, how much cost of living allowance can be paid to them then housing allowance uh, home leave this is something which is paid to expatriates that they can uh, they can come back to their country for some time they can uh, take a break they can bring their children so transportation air tickets and uh, leaves are given to expatriates so that they can come to uh, the home country back and reconnect with their own people uh, then education allowances for their children uh relocation allowances which includes the cost of transportation of you know taking your house and furniture and uh, your required uh, living uh, items with you so relocation allowance includes all those cost of logistics and sometimes spouse assistance allowance is also paid that if you have to take your spouse along and your spouse cannot work in the foreign location and has been working in the uh, in the parent country Uh, then the compensation is given to uh, the employee so that they can make up for the income the, the total family income which is uh, being uh, uh, com uh, which is being compromised because the spouse is going along with the uh, with the employee and finally the fourth aspect of uh, the international package is the benefits and these are healthcare benefits pension plans social security life insurance child allowances and profit sharing stock options uh, plans uh, the pension plans are very difficult to deal with in country to country as national practices may vary and similarly healthcare allowances and uh, medical coverage benefits they are also very difficult to administer, administer because it varies from different culture to culture and country to country um uh, for example in uh, in europe in europe and the uk um uh, people who are working in uh, uk and uh, uh, european countries they are medically covered by the government uh, but this is something which is not in pakistan or it is not something which is available in uh, america or um uh, in other countries which have lesser social security uh, packages for them uh so uh you need to take care of that that if uh, uh somebody from uh the uh, from the uk is going to work in pakistan they need to be given a medical coverage because that is something which is not going to be taken care by the government uh so these are the different challenges and uh, the different components of international compensation packages which are included in the international compensation program of expatriates uh who are parent country nationals as well as third country nationals